I'm diving into Godot and I found their first 2D game tutorial to be quite well written. But if you find text tutorials hard to follow, let's tackle it together. I'll give extra explanations where needed. Check the link to the tutorial in the description below. Okay, let's get started. Under your first 2D game, I'm going to expand our contents and then click on setting up the project. First we launch the Godot editor and create a new project. I have mine under the start menu. This is the GD script version, not the C sharp version. Click on create. I'm going to name mine Godot first 2D game. It's going to create this new folder and I want to create it under my projects. You can put it wherever you want. Click on create and edit. The editor is open. The tutorial comes with some artwork and fonts. So download this zip file. I already have it downloaded. I'll open it up. It comes with the art and font and I'll just do control C to copy it. Back to my editor on the bottom left. This is the file system. I'll just right click and say open this in a file manager. So uh, the files here should be the same as what you see in the file system panel minus some project files that don't show up like these ones. I'll just do control V to paste the art and fonts. Let me open up art. So we have the sprites for the enemy here and the player here. And I think we have some game music too. And then this is the font that it wants us to use for the game. Okay. Under project, project settings, we want to set the game to 480 by 720. So this is going to be a fixed size game. Project, project setting, and then display window, display window. Set to 480, height to 720. Under the stretch options, set the mode to canvas item and aspect to keep. This is going to ensure that the game scales consistently on different screen sizes. We'll go ahead and do that. Aspect already on keep. Click on close. This section just tells us that we're going to create a player, we're going to create the enemy mobs and a heads up display. And finally, the main scene is saying that this is a small project and we can organize it however we want. So what I'm going to do is create folders for each one of these resources. Now let's go and click on creating the player scene. In Godot terminology, you can think of a scene as a reusable game object. In this case, we're going to create the player game object or scene. Once we create the player scene, we can actually test it separately from uh, the other objects like the enemies or the head up display. And a scene is going to consist of a tree of nodes. Just think of a node as a piece of functionality. We're going to put together a bunch of them that's going to provide the full functionality for the player. Let's add the first node and now we'll get a better idea of what how this works. The node that we're going to use is area 2D. Over here on the left, click on other nodes, start typing area, and it automatically finds area 2D. Click on create. Now area 2D has been created. If we want to know what this item is, right click on it, click on open documentation, and it gives an explanation of what this object is. It is a region of 2D space that can detect collisions. So that's what we're using to represent the player. Over here, it's saying that the node is going to have a warning icon. We can ignore it for now. Let's look at what it means. It's this warning icon here. It's telling us that we need to add a collision shape. So we'll do that in a moment. We'll change the area 2D node and name it player by double click on it. Player. Before we add any children to the player node, we want to make sure we don't accidentally move or resize them by clicking on them. 
What we want to do is click on the group icon to group the player and add all the nodes underneath it. So with the player selected on the top here, switch to the 2D editor. Here we'll find the group icon. Click on it. You can see that it's activated here. Any children that we add here is going to be grouped with the player. Now we can save the scene by hitting Ctrl S or in the scene menu, save scene. It's going to bring up the uh, file system that reflects what we see on the bottom left here. I'll click on the new folder icon and I'll create a player folder. We'll put the player scene, this is the file name, and save it under the player folder right here. Next, we need to add the animation for the player. So we're going to add a animated sprite to the child node. With the player selected, we can add it by clicking on this plus sign. Start typing animated or we'll select animated sprite 2D. Now we'll add the artwork to the animated sprite 2D. With Animated 2D selected, the inspector on the right is going to show the properties. Expand animation. Actually, before I do this, let me right click on Animated Sprite 2D, open documentation. We can see that Animated Sprite 2D inherits from Node 2D, Canvas item, Node, and an object. You can see properties for Node 2D, Canvas item, Node all on the right side of the inspector. This is object-oriented programming. The child animated sprite 2D gets the benefit of the functionalities from its parents. Okay, so now let's create the sprite frames by clicking on this icon, drop down, select new sprite frames, and then select it. We see the animation panel pop up down here. It wants us to rename default to walk and then we'll add a new animation and name it up. I'll double click on default and I'll name it walk. And then I'll add a new animation, double click on it and name it up. Now with up selected on my file system, I'm gonna expand art. Up is the player walking up and down. So I'm gonna select the two images here and drag it into this empty area. This is the animation for the player walking up and down. And then walk is uh, the player going left and right. I'll select these two animations and drag it over here. Let's go back to the 2D tab. Now the player is way too big. So under node transform, we can scale the player to half its size. Now to add collision detection, we add a collision shape 2D under the player. We can right click, add child node, start typing collision, collision shape 2D, create. Over here on the shape, click the drop down and we want to create the new capsule shape. Over here on the scene, I'm using my middle mouse button to move the uh, canvas around. And then I'll use my scroll wheel to zoom in a little bit. You can see that we added the new capsule shape. I'm gonna click on this red dot and make it about the size of the player. This is about right. So anything intercepting the shape is going to register as a collision. You can see some empty area here that's also going to register as a hit. But that's okay since we're not since we're not building a very precise game. Okay, so we're done with the player. I'm gonna hit Control S to save the scene. Now, before we move on, we can actually run this scene. So on the top right, click on Run Project. It's saying that we don't have a main scene. That is fine. We haven't created that yet. We'll click on Select Current to select the player as the current scene, and we'll run it. You can see that the player is stuck on the top left corner here. So back to my editor, let me zoom out. This coordinate system, the red is the 
x-axis and the green is the y-axis. The origin is 0, 0. x going to the right is positive, going to the left is negative. But green, the y-axis going down is positive, going up is negative. So the y-axis is actually reverse. And that's how Godot works. This blue purple-ish square or rectangle is the 480 by 720 viewport. So this is the game that matches up with what we see here. And of course our player is at the origin. What we can do is click on it, move it to the middle, and we run the scene. And now our guy is in the middle. Since we haven't done the inputs yet, we can't move this guy. So that's what we're going to do next. I'll see you in the next video.